Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to show you how you can actually multiply or divide clip lamps inside the Luby Pro and how to trigger that from an external controller or from an external MIDI source. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to use Loopy Pro inside AUM, so it is easy to see when I trigger some MIDI events, which I will be using the internal AUM MIDI keyboard for that. But of course, it can be an external MIDI controller, or and therefore you can use it also outside uh, AUM. So let's click on the plus sign and let's click on audio to create an audio channel and select the Loopy Pro as uh, a uh, audio source, like so. Now let's open the app, maximize the UI, and let's change it a little bit. We remove this row here. We are going to remove also some of the columns so that we can leave only one clip uh, like so. Now we extend it to the right. We create um, also a button there. We click and hold it to change the shape, something like that. And then we duplicate that as well. Now. Let's uh, uh, click here on the first button, we select press and we scroll here down and we go to divide clip length. We click specific clip and we choose the specific clip, which in this case is only one. On the second button we do the same, but instead of dividing the clip, we are going to multiply the clip and we're going to select the same clip. We have only one and here you can pad any additional uh, time because when you multiply you make uh, uh, the length longer so you can pad that with silence which I recommend. Now we exit this and we uh, swipe up on the clip so that we can click here to import choose document picker and I'm going to find something like these uh, waveform created in BT Pro. We click play to test it. Perfect, and we click import, and there it is. Now let's uh, uh, click on the play in transport control of AUM, and uh, we get the clip running. Then you will see when I click the first button here, it will multiply, so it will make the length longer, and it will add with uh, uh, silence. And when I click the second button, um, actually the opposite, when the first one will divide, uh, so we'll make it half of the size and when I click the second one it will multiply. So, so let's test it. You see when I click the second button which I'm multiplying, you can see I multiply by twice so this has become a quarter and I and it filled in the remaining part with silence. Indeed when it finishes it becomes it the silence. You can see it finished here playing the waveforms of the resilience. Now, if I click the first button, we'll divide it. So this duration of the waveform will cover half of the clip, as you can see. So half of the clip is silence and the other half, of course, is the waveform. I can click on it to divide again and I go back to the original one. Now, remember, if you divide it when you have the right length for the original length, um, you will cut the length by half and then if you multiply you lose half of that original waveform because it will pad the additional space with silence. Now if I want to trigger those two buttons um, externally one actually way to do that which is very simple is click up here on the above menu click here on MIDI learn click on the first button which divide here it says listening for event, okay, click events and we say AUM again. Then you can choose between program change, CC messages or notes. We go for note, we leave C4 as a note, perfect. We go to the second button, we listen for events, AUM again, we go for notes and now instead of C4, we actually go for D4. Perfect, now we close. Now, if I bring up the keyboard here, 
and I press C4, nothing happens. D4, nothing happens. And that's because the routing are not uh, uh, set up. So I click here for MIDI routing or routing. And then I connect the keyboard here to AUM source. Perfect. Now, if I click um, D4, it will multiply. You can see it adds, uh, added uh, space here and the waveform um, covers half of the clip. I click again D4, become a one quarter. I click C4. It will divide it, so it, the waveform will cover half of the clip, and again, C4 will cover the entire clip. Okay. Now, let me show you what happens when you divide and you start from the original um, clip or waveform that uh, you imported, the original length. So I divide this like so. And the play will be faster as well because I have divided that. I divide it again. You see what I mean by play faster is actually playing at the same speed, but the duration is, uh, of course, half. And if, if I keep doing like that, It repeats only that part, which it will be very small because I kept dividing the original clip length. Now, if I click multiply, it's going to add space. So you lost what you had at the beginning. So remember that. So if you divide the original clip length, uh, you're going to lose that particular part when you back multiply. Of course, I also realized that it was difficult to um, um, remember what the buttons do, but I remember you can edit them and put, for example, some text, and you can say uh, divide, for example, like so, and then you have now divide there, and you can write multiply on the second one so you remember what each button does. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and as always, see you next time. Bye.